honorable sisters, brothers, and friends. Uh, not that I'm involved, but I uh, gotta mention this uh, woman looked Slavic and her speech was Slavic. For months, trying to involve me in some wild nonsense. Well, uh, I had just enough parking space, and uh, the car behind me was hers, and I couldn't do it if I got a little closer. And, well, maybe next second attempt a little closer, and the third attempt, I get it's really close. And when you put the brake on of your car, you know, your car will rock. So when I put the brake on, it rocked, and I can just barely hear that it touched the license plate, like the top corner. She come running out. She says, I've been videotaping you for months. She says, you hit cars here. You, you do. I got you on videotape. I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to sue you. You hit my car three times. I says, lady, I, I, there's no damage. I didn't hit your car. I put the brake on and it touched your plate. I'll I'll wipe it. I said, yeah, I'm wiping it. There's no nothing, not even a scratch. She said, no, no, I'm going to take you to car. I'm going to. So I said, look, why don't you be reasonable? She says, no. She started calling me names and uh, so I said, look, lady, a liar. And I said, no, look, <laughs> lady, I try to be an independent preacher. An internet preacher. I wouldn't lie for anything. So you a preacher? I got, I got insulting. So I said, look, you going to be reasonable? She said, no, I'm going to sue you. And she goes, and goes away. Well, I had to call the police. And finally, the police came after half hour, 45 minutes. And I said, look, I'm going to stay here and show you that this woman claimed I hit her car three times? No, I didn't hit her car at all. The third time I backed up to it, I put on the brakes, and you know how a car will rock? It rocked, and I could barely hear it touch the top corner of her license plate. And look, there's not even a scratch. So he looked at me, and he says, well, where is she? I said, I don't know. She says, she's been filming me, she says, we have videotapes for months. Uh, it's a weird, wild, weird nonsense. So he looked at me and he says, uh, no problem. Now, they know I'm going to go to TJ's today and get my bread. It's a three, it's a kind of mumble jumble. This fellow now is definitely appears to be born in Mexico, Mexican. He it looks definitely rehearsed. Driving up, there's a little kid standing on a rock, a big rock. He's got his back turned. The little kid is waiting. He's waiting. When get real close, he turns around. Now the kid jumps off the rock into the street in front of the car. Then he looks, and then he takes the kid by the hand, like, oh, mom, just watch. I think that they have done that before because the kid had kept his balance for a long time and knew just keep waiting, waiting until it, it, it was time for him to jump off the rock. That desperate, criminally insane, Gyrational masturbating nonsense. Now, I'm not going to mention anything about any more. Just concentrated course in obtaining honors and regional compensation in my world class science and inventions. Well, why am I in this predicament in the USA? Because if you really want to do what's best for this country, hey, the King George Queen Hoover 
hypocrites. Why, if I get in, I'm going to throw them out. <laughs> so, they got it where I'm the enemy. Through the years, I've noticed that, boy, that must be maybe as, as many countries. One app is evil. They say they're evil. They do this, they're evil. Well, they can print what they want here. Why do other countries put up with them? It's because they can print that U.S. dollar bill that says the international money. And that's what they want. They get that international money, and it's worth money, of a country that's in debt, maybe more than all the other countries combined, that their money is paper money, but it's still holding up as the international money. And some other monies fall compared to them. Can you imagine that? The interest alone is so great they can't pay it, let alone the debt. That's, I, I'm quite sure it's a true fact. What kind of money is this that, it, that it's so in debt? Well, who's running this country? Well, the last president, like where the, where the people, was FDR and then Truman. After that, let me point out what's critical. Uh, now, I'm definitely at the top at the same time. Primly Insane Hoover has me at the bottom. It's a tremendous paradox that Truman didn't like the secret police of, of Hoover. Well, before he left office, he mentioned it. Eisenhower, a military man with the military. Before he left office, he didn't use the word evil, but he said what the U.S. people have to be concerned about is the shadow government of the military-industrial complex. Do you understand? Here's a man now that's been president for eight years as a military man before. His commander-in-chief is a military man. And the last thing he does really, as far as maybe his conscience, is to tell the American people that, that he didn't use the word evil, but is the military-industrial complex, the shadow government. Do you understand? Well, I have serious, half joking. He says, why don't you get an actor? You got an actor to sh get the military man how to talk to people. They get a professional actor. Why not get the professional actor to be pres? You understand? They got an actor to get the popular vote. Then they had it planned to knock him off. And the King George, Queen Hoover... Not democracy, hypocrisy could publicly then be. But so he knew, okay, he lived. He just says what they write. And then he gets up there being a trained speaker and an actor. He would read what they told him to say, when, if, when, and what. Absolute true fact. You understand? So all the years, they would say, this is an evil country. Doing it. And I'd say, you know... It's the Hooverists that are evil. And now, after all these years, when people hear the word evil, they think of the USA, the King George Queen Hoover, double talking, because they're, part of the reason is that they're schizophrenic. 
I don't think a lot of times they even know what they're doing or saying. Honestly, they from one week to another, it's uh, it, you know there's humor and everything, but you got to say, "Jay, you're in scrumsy." I mean, how could they show their face? In my opinion, they don't rate in the political science discipline to be worthy. They don't rate in theology, philosophy, science. Can I go to even reading science? Talking about uh, 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 frauds. I looked it up, frauds in the U.S. Ooh, and the bankers at uh, that banker in New York that took everybody's money, even from sightless uh, people, to, and sent some of it overseas in a bank. And, uh, and then uh, then the um, uh, medical profession. The ones they cited the most were in the medical profession of getting money out of that and it's in a kind of a racket. Now, uh, do I write these things? I'm telling you, you, I have maybe now some of the most powerful exposés on the internet. You look up the crimes of Jagger Hoover by... Doc C PhD company, and I have a litany of his crimes. You look up frauds. You look up uh, crimes, uh, things that the, the U.S. has experimented on people in the U.S. I, I didn't write these things; they're, they're, they're on the internet. You can see them. The American people say, as long as those who got some money and are staying at the top. It's the Anglo-US. They have control of the shadow government and the others they can keep as if there's a war especially then they want the tough Irish to fight. They want the tough Italians to fight. Now there's a great a lot of tough Mexicans to fight. Hmm? Have the French as the front line, they fight. That's it didn't work in Vietnam as far as having a black man commander in chief. It got even it got worse because they were all mutinying. Uh, some of them were uh, actually uh, mutiny against. So they got a black commander in chief. And I got wow. Oh, in case they can get somebody to make a mistake, where they do something wrong, they say, "Look, look, look! It's a Pearl Harbor. Uh, it's a, it's something that they can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. We got to do to look how bad they are. Huh. That's their kind of weird policy <laughs> that they figure that they're gonna, they can, if they can beat me." Who's done them? Like I said on my card, I've done more good and more feels any man in the history of the U.S. And they can beat anybody here and internationally. I, uh, yeah, what's theirs is theirs. They would throw at me, and what's mine is it's got theirs too. They're going to dominate, or definitely control, or have influence. Of the Anglo-U.S. sort of the not colonialism, but uh, with their uh, money and stock market, I think if certain countries cashed in with their debt, especially if they said, "I want gold," and not your paper money, the U.S. would be bankrupt. I did the Xerox. I did it for not Jagger Hoover, but for the FBI. 
so we could copy seek recorded messages and I would have it so expertly that you couldn't tell the difference between the original and the copy I could present through the photoelectric process. You put some boisterous analyzer, it'll prove I'm saying the truth, of course. And they tried, after I got it done, yeah, Hoover knocked it down, because then if he could stall on somebody else, then thought of it. And, and uh, look, if you go to court, they'll present my photocopy and say, uh, you know, th this is what it is. And you say, no, that's the photocopy. We have the original. You couldn't tell the difference. Do you understand? So then he had to start going with it. But it was Haloid Xerox, like, because I said put it in Haloid, they were bankrupt. They'd gone back to Chicago. Which reminds me, a young man said, you invented the Xerox? And I said, uh, yes. He says, no. He says, why don't you read up and see who invented it? <laughs> and I said, well, uh, I, I think, I, I, I says, you better believe I invented the Xerox. He says, no. He says, you read who's got the pen. I said, look, why should I read that? Why don't you take and find one of my, one of my many uh, hundred videos that explain in details that I invented the Xerox, how, when, why. Why don't you do that? Uh, I don't know if he was a paid professional fellow to try to degrade. Now, we have done where the USA the USA has deteriorated to where, in my opinion, it's past the point of return. The USA, the King George Queen Hoover's, not the mockery hypocrisy, has lost. And no matter what, I have, not could or should, by the laws of God and man, the Constitution, Civil Rights, Bill of Rights, I must obtain reasonable honors and financial compensation. To all those who agree with my true facts, I say thank you.